Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to Phoenix Point. So today we're going to be doing a couple story points here. There's a few things I want to address first. Um, first of all, one of the things that I do want from the uh, disciples is I do want to get one of the priests. But look at these weird requirements. 1,100 food and almost nothing else. We have 169. Um, and we're only making plus two because of all the people we've recruited. Um, and I don't have the money to build another farming area. I don't know what to call them. Food generators? Um, nutrient paste dispensers? We're gonna go with that. I don't have enough money to build another nutrient paste dispenser, so we're gonna have to hold on to that, but I do want to get one of those guys, because they look pretty cool. Um, speaking of dudes, let's see here. I've got a couple people around here. So you've leveled up. I gave you back your PDW, so now you've got the gun that you're actually specialized in, and it's not a bad gun. And for your training, I still don't know if that's something I want, um, but we're gonna dual class you into assault, because that's great. Because I want dash, and I want return fire because I think they're fantastic abilities. Um, and then we'll kind of... Oh, cool. It can be thrown. Oh, neat. Neither of these are very cool. All right. Um, I can actually also research their um, mech arms, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately, I'd have to use both of them, and then I'd have to rebuild them, and we don't have any money. Along the same lines... Um, yeah, we'll come back to you. We've got this cool Sanhedrin infiltrator. And we have the same problem here, where I don't have the ability to make any ammo for their cool crossbow. But if I use up the crossbow to research it, I don't have the stuff to make any more crossbows. Did that sentence make sense? So, unfortunately, I have to wait on researching basically any of these weapons at the moment. So, we're just going to have to try to be careful with that. Um, and I think that's it. So, our research, I could finish up what I'm doing, and this is convenient. Or I could do one of these, which is much shorter... Yeah, I could do either of the eggs. They're only 13 hours, and they would give me 400 food, and that would give me a nice um, head start. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do that so I can get that priest a little earlier. So I realize my research is all wrong here, but that's the plan. Um, I think that's it. I may actually decide to take away one of New Jericho's um, transportation craft, because I don't have the money to build another one. I don't think I have access to yours, do I? No. I don't have the stuff to build a manticore, nor do I have 10 days to wait, and I do need something better than the blimp. The blimp is much too slow. It's not letting us actually, like, respond to anything. Now, mind you, my B-Squad over here isn't really capable of responding to a lot of these things, but we do need to be able to do something. So, anyway, is that it? I think that's it. Where are we going to go? We were going to go up here to Frozen. I think so. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, so we've reached a defunct research station in northern Siberia, identified in Simon's uh, notes as a significant point of interest. The doors stand open, and there are no signs of life. The scientists who worked at the station are all long dead. Their mutated bodies lie frozen in strange, demonic poses. It's easy for our operatives to retrieve the samples they were researching, which Randolph Symes came all this way to examine. In 2022, a group of researchers investigating an anthrax outbreak caused by melting permafrost in northern Siberia went missing. Oh? The Phoenix Project tried to find out what happened to them, but our resources were stretched too thin, and our allies in the Russian government were losing influence, so we let it go. All these years later, looking at these samples, I wonder, is this where it started? Is this the first outbreak? Hmm. If we had done more, could we have stopped it? The genetic material I have recovered might hold the answers, but I'm not sure I want to know. Well, that is interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. Huh. I was also expecting a fight. So... Will Rise by Sin by Virtue Fall also be more of a story point? Let's go take a look at it. Okay, you've arrived. Let's go ahead and let's move you all around. New Jericho Haven is under attack. Where? Which New Jericho Haven? Well, I can't get over there. Oh, they're going to survive anyway. Okay. Okay, so I've got you moving. And let's keep going. I do have you moving, right? Yeah. And I do actually need to do some of these salvage sites, too. Um, apparently it's a bad idea to do it. Okay, mine fragger eggs. Yep, beginning the hatching process. So we know how eggs work. Apparently, like, doing these scavenging sites is bad because it actually makes the Pandoran stronger. But I need stuff. I need lots of stuff. 
Do I have enough um, stuff to make another nutrient paste dispenser? I do not. What do we need? We need just materials. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think let's use the other egg to give us a little bit of materials and a bunch more food. Yeah, let's do that. And then we may actually do some of these. Alright, so the coordinates and signs notes of letter operatives to a small abandoned camp high up in the mountains. Beyond it lies the entrance to a cave. The cave contains the corpse of a Caucasian male. It's hard to identify at first, as it's overgrown with yellow, sickly-looking leaves sprouting from the shriveled skin. A backpack on the floor contains faded photographs and broken specimen jars. Syme seems to have taken what he needed, but even what remains is enough to revolutionize our understanding of this planet's biological history. Our analysis of the leaves growing from the body show that this organism contains traces of the Pandora virus, but a different, older strain. The implications of this discovery warrant further study. In his essays, my great-grandfather recounts the story of the ill-fated Chinling Bashan expedition of 1915 and the journal of Lei Meng, the leader of the mission, who found evidence of a forgotten proto-civilization deep below the ground. Really? There is also mention of James Dawson, a British photographer who stole most of the precious samples recovered by the team. What became of Dawson has always been a mystery, but now I know the mundane truth. He died here in the mountains, forgotten and alone. This proto-civilization, could it hold the key to defeating the Pandora virus? They say history repeats itself. Has all of this happened before? Interesting. History doesn't repeat itself, but it does run. Very interesting. Okay. And then prisoner of ice we can't get to. And the catacombs of despair still sounds hard. So that's why I'm kind of waiting on that one. Um, interesting. Okay. So we could do phase two, but I would rather have my people be a little stronger. Let's actually, let's actually collect some stuff. I don't mind doing this. What do we got here? Oh, I have another area scan I could be running too at the same time. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Alright, so let's see what the story is here. So my goal is to get enough materials so that I can make another nutrient paste dispenser and then use that for trading. Um, and then pay more attention to it so I don't run out. So, what do we got around here? We got some materials and some tech. Um, a bunch of food and some materials and some materials and some materials. This is going to be a weird one. We're going to try to protect this whole side. And what are you guys rocking these days? Sniper machine gun and your shield. I hate that machine gun. It's significantly more accurate than any of my actual snipers. It's terrible, and I hate it. So, out of curiosity, is there any place you could see that guy easily to shoot off his machine gun? There certainly is. If you move over here, can you see him okay? What else did you see? You saw a mine fragger. Um, that's far enough away that I think it'll be fine. So, if I were to take this shot... Oh, there's two of them over there. Oh. Okay. Well, that's the machine gun arm. So I could definitely do that. Yeah, for sure. This is not the gun I want you using, by the way. We're going to have to switch back over. I want you with the laser. Is this the laser one? Oh, this is the laser one. Never mind. Okay. And these buildings mean I can't really grenade the other guys. Oh, a good suggestion was to make another one of those, or make one of those hand cannons that we stole from, um... The Disciples of Anu, but unfortunately, I don't have the materials to make one. I actually looked, so... Again, we need materials. Um... Well, we can run up and just basically blast the other guy a whole bunch. We've got we've got the assault for it. We can definitely do that. Let's get quick aim in. And I really don't want to miss shooting off that machine gun. Yeah, I'm not worried about the Mindfrager at the moment. Let's take off this guy's arm. Now, at least you can't shoot me. I mean, you can still, like, spit at me and stuff, which is all very annoying. But at least you can't shoot at me. What's um, and let's commit. Like, if we're going to do this, let's go beg. Can I get you in a spot where I can get a good line of sight? Probably here. Since this guy now, we need to shoot a whole bunch. So dash up. Because if I can get two shots off, that would be good. I forgot to check to see if you're my guy that has the better aim. Um, it isn't going to matter, because I think you can put this guy down all by yourself. Die. 
Okay. Maybe not. I honestly thought you would do a little more damage than that. Okay. Um. Well. Kind of the same thing going on here. Can anyone get a little further over? Doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, let's keep moving. No time to lose. Come on. There we go. Just keep shooting him. Nicely done. And put him down. Well done. Okay, so we've still got the spitter on the other head to deal with. The spitter head on the same guy to deal with. But I'm a little less concerned about that. The Mindfragger actually doesn't know about us, so we're just going to kind of ignore him. There's really no reason to, like, bother him. Can you get some shots in here? No. You want to try it again? No. Okay. I mean, I want to have some overwatches and stuff in, but... Moving to position. You know, I don't really want that guy to get far enough over that he can actually get some damage in. That would definitely not be my preference. Yeah, I really should make a pistol. Or, I'm sorry, a hand cannon. For my heavies. That would really make them a lot more useful. Alright, everyone move out here. Now, that guy probably actually... I don't know if he can get close enough to spit at us or not. I don't think so. So let's go ahead and let's not worry about him. So you are not allowed to shoot... To, like, put your weapon in any way near my guys. If I put you like this, you're going to shoot that explosive barrel. Or you shoot the good barrel or something. Actually, maybe if I constrict it a little. I, I just don't trust you not to kill my guys. You're just not... You're not a trustworthy actor. I'm sorry. Like, you're a great guy, and I think that you're a fantastic soldier, but I do not trust you with precision work. That's not really your thing, and I think we can all agree that that's true. Okay, I don't really want to hit the Mindfragger, but if anything else shows up, I would like to shoot it. And you can actually go ahead and do Overwatch for the Mindfragger, so you might be able to get it. Alright. Oh, I didn't realize that that was alerted. Okay, that's fine. Not really a problem. Hi. Hmm. Mildly disappointing, but okay. And why don't you go ahead and hop towards us? Yeah. You just stand there and bleed on me. Careful. Those barrels are explosive. Okay, there's two of them over there. Oh. And one more of you. Okay. Let's get you straightened out first. I should be able to take off your arm without any trouble. I shouldn't need to use quick aim, but let's do it anyway. Taking aim. There's a will restore thing right there, so if I need to, I can just duck in there quick. Okay, so now you're a lot less dangerous. Alright. And we just need to take out these things and then take out this guy. You're right here. Why don't you come over here and just flank him and shoot him? Ready to engage. Hmm... Let's get back a little further. You can take a few more steps yet. Mmm, this should be fine. I'm gonna shoot him in the head. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, he is going to die. He is, in fact... Oh, he's not gonna die. Well, that's interesting. Well, I don't want to waste a shot on you, but... I guess I could. It'd be more fun to shoot some grenades over here. Wouldn't that be more fun? I think it'd be more fun. I mean, there's like a tree in the way and stuff, but I think it would be kind of neat. Let's see if you can get a grenade over there. It's great if you can. If not, that's okay, too. Nicely done. Very nicely done. So, that guy is essentially useless, and you... Okay, you can still get a mind control in. That's pretty cool. All right, let's just finish this guy. Well, hold on. Let's just finish this guy off then. Acquiring target. Can you shoot past the shield? Possibly. Uh, the answer is probably not, actually. I was really hoping that you could. Okay, you only needed to get literally one hit in, and that would have been sufficient. And instead, you got zero hits in. Here. You know what? Come here. This is silly. 
Oh yeah, the box. Um, I don't really care about the box. Just come over here and let's just execute this guy. Ready to fire. Problem solved. All right, and then these guys over here. It sort of doesn't matter. Let's just get moving. And the same with you. I'm gonna get the contents of these crates anyway, so I don't really care. Um, doesn't really matter what you shoot. Looks like this is all you can see. So go ahead and shoot at it. It's fine. Yeah, that's all cool. And you. Actually, move this direction, because we're going to use your big gun on those mist watchers. And then you... Ready to fire. I honestly wish I could see one of the mind fraggers, but I think it's too far away. Let's just kill this guy instead. Alright, well, you tried. Overwatch anyway. Actually, overwatch a lot closer, so that you have a much better chance of hitting it. Okay, there we go. Go ahead. Bye-bye. Oh, and there's another one. Okay. Come on, you got this? I think you missed. Nope, you got it. Good. So that should have given you some will back? Um, kind of. I'm actually not sure whether or not it did. Okay. We'll move over here. What does your shot look like? Mmm, your shot is actually sort of crummy. I mean, obviously, I'd have to move my assault out of the way. Hmm. I'm ready. Well, let's get moving up, because we're going to want to kill him. Alright, let's see what this shot looks like now when you're not in the way. <laughs> uh, it looks bad. It looks real bad. I mean, if you hit the machine gun, you can destroy it, and that's fine, actually. I mean, the arm would be better, but the machine gun is fine. Okay. So, no machine gun for you. So now there's really not a whole lot you can do. Oh, I actually managed to hit him in the arm, too. Well, good job. Looks like you blew the whole thing off. You've done us proud. Now let's just kind of shoot at him. Steal on target. Yep, doing a great job. And you've got town will points left, so you can definitely dash up here as well. No rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees, man. Now, why is your aim so much worse? I don't know why, but I would appreciate it if you can go ahead and tell me. Because I, I seriously don't know, like, why his aim is so much worse. No time to lose. Yeah, let's just blast away at him. There, well done. Actually, you can just kill him. There, good job. Alright, then all we have is these stupid mist thingies. So let's go and let's kill them. I mean, that's all we know about. There may be other things, but... Yeah, there's one. And you, my heavy friend, come on over here as far as you can. That came out wrong. I mean, in the sense that you are a heavy. On the move. Wow, you really got a lot more mobility than I expected. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you just go ahead and mist away and see if that helps. You go ahead and try that. Let's see if that helps you any. It might. Mm. Nope. It didn't. Not even a little. Well, it's actually kind of funny. You can't actually see him, can you? You can from here. Identifying target. And there's the end of that. So we got all the materials out of that. No injuries. Relatively quick. That went well. Happy about that. No levels again, but it's alright. Alright. And the yeah, some ammo, whatever. Yeah, is that really what they look like in there? Huh. 
Anyway, so this is a bunch of resources, so great. So let's go over here. This is turning into our food base. And let's go ahead and let's get another nutrient paste dispenser going. Which is that guy right there. Perfect. And we almost have enough food that I could go back and get that guy. Hmm. You know, our guys aren't exhausted yet. God, there's got to be another base around here somewhere. There just has to be. Let's head over here quick. Um, initiate a scan. Oh, you're back. Okay, good. Um, I just want to transfer you guys so I know where you are. Blimp. Blimp. Stay in Phoenix Point. Oh, and you guys don't have... Oh, are we that low on ammo? Ugh. This is expensive, people. Is that still not enough? Okay, this is why I can't afford new recruits, I'm just saying. And let's keep leveling you guys up. Are you the one that I specced wrong? No, you're specced right. Master Marksman. Absolutely. One of these poor guys I specced wrong. Yeah, you. Oh, no, no, you haven't been... Okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, yeah, heavy. Yep, good. And you... I don't honestly know if I want manual control. I really don't know. I haven't tested you guys in battle yet. And you've already got surprise attack. That sounds pretty good. Deploy decoy. <gasps> nice. Oh my, yes. You hang out and level up. For sure. I want you coming with me in the near future. Because, we, wait, we do have two satellites, right? Okay, which haven? I'm not convinced I can get there with my A team, and I'm not convinced that I have enough of a B team. 5-5. Five, five. So we'd have two snipers, a technician, a third sniper, another technician, I think our class max is like too much of a mess over there, but I would like to help defend these guys. Let's 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 try. Let's see if we can make it in time. Oh, there's the egg. Perfect. And just keep going on the other research. Yep. Oh, it looks like we are gonna make it. All right, threat level medium. We can do this. Maybe. We can do this. Oh, you know what? Actually, since we have a little bit of money, where's that cannon? Hand cannon. Equipment. Nurgle's Wrath. Yeah, it's not even all that expensive. Oh, man, if I'd started making that, it would be here by the time we were here. Oh, well. Anyway. Let's take a look here. I think we're all set to go. All right, so after we land, it crosses my mind. I didn't even look to see if that aim changes because of equipment. So that could very well be it. All right. All right. This is not this is not a good setup. So this is almost certainly where all the bad guys are going to be. So we're going to want to get over there as fast as we can. And you know what? This is going to be a place to use the jets. And then you'll be able to get grenades and stuff in there. Ooh, that'll be hot. I'm looking forward to that. Let's shift up first, though, and let's see what we got going on. Because if they're not at this structure yet, they will be. I'm pretty confident that's it. Nothing else around here really looks... significant, you know? It's just this one building in the middle. Yeah, there's these little buildings, but these are just, like, shelves. No one cares about bookshelves. Okay, nothing so far. Suspicious, but okay. Hmm. Alright. I don't want to leave you out in the open, but I think it'll be okay. Actually, I should have moved you backwards, is what I should have done. Because now I have to leave you out in danger and overwatch. And I do not care for that. Come over here. It's not much cover, but it's some cover. And then... 
I don't know if I want to just go right up to the roof now. Like, I could do that, and that would give me a lot of movement points. But I'm worried I would step on something up there. Oh, you can't actually get there yet. Really? Is it just because you're too far away, or is that not a valid location? Oh, no, no, you're just too far away. Um, yeah, let's, let's just started. give it a try. Hope this is okay. Otherwise, we could have some problems. Okay, you're good. All right. Ooh. I'm here. All right, let's get squared up here, and then I think we're pretty much set to go. Um, well, I could move you way in if I wanted to, but I'm not feeling quite that lucky. Advancing. I feel like What's that might matter? be that might be getting carried away. Okay, let's try to cover inside the structure. As best we can. Actually, it's going to be you guys that are going to be able to see in here the best. And then... Let's cover our two opposing sides here. Because we have no idea where anything is going to be located. I got this covered. And you... Five by five. Oh, you can actually cover it with your sniper rifle. Oh, that's hot. Um, try to hit anything. Anything you can see, go for it. It's all fair game. Alright, let's see what the story is. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That wasn't as informative as it might have been. That worries me. Okay, let's go stick our heads in then and see what's going on. Really? You went through the window. Really? Alright. Let's go in not very far again. Hope they don't bill us. Glass is extra, man. That's all I'm saying. It's very worrying to me that I haven't found anything. See, can I shoot down from here? I mean, it's obviously not cover. But let's say I were trying to take a shot. Ye sort of. Yeah, that's the key structure. Let's not shoot that. So the answer is kind of. Okay. I'm honestly not sure whether or not that's going to be of any particular use. That may just be into out of a spot. Well. I mean, this is full cover over here, but that doesn't mean I can't be shot through it. Okay. So I guess that side's alright. Alright, so where can I get a second overwatch? Will you be able to lean out from here or not? I'm always a little surprised by how that works. Too much XCOM in my brain, unfortunately. And this game, like, having played a bunch of XCOM, I feel it's like an active detriment to doing well in this game. It's just too different. And I don't really know what to expect over here either, so just shoot at anything. And actually kind of the same thing over here. That's how I should have, should have uh, set the other the other dude here. And then kind of the same thing. Just shoot everything. And I haven't moved my sniper, which was not a great plan. Um, just come over here. I feel like... We're not going to get anything within range, but just in case. And you... I'm actually going to let you overwatch with your real gun. Please don't kill any of our friends. Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, so we have sirens around here. We have sirens that I don't even know about. And is already mind controlling me. Gotcha. We haven't even met yet. And you've disabled my arm. Well, at least there's the siren. Hi. Did you just shoot my own guy? You're going to mind control two of us. Right. Okay. Okay. I need you to dash down here. Mm-hmm. And there's this siren. And I need you to make this siren go away. 
Actually, should I punch a hole through your torso? That might make it easier for my other people to kill you. I realize that's not going to remove the mind control thing, but... I may actually just not have enough damage to kill you. I mean, we'll try. But I think with the two mind controls, I don't. Well, maybe. We can find out in just a few seconds here. I can't believe you shot my own guy. I can't believe it. I mean, I can believe it. I'm just not real happy about it. Okay, we can go ahead and put you down. Okay, good. Okay. That only returned one of my guys. So there are two sirens. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Now, there's not really anything you can do except run away and heal yourself. So, go ahead and do that. Because you don't have a pistol. Thanks to my own fantastic planning. And can you get over far enough to get two shots in? I don't think you can. I don't know, but that's basically my only chance. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Targeting. Wait, can I use dash more than once in a turn? Oh my god, I can. Well, I didn't know that. I honestly had never had never noticed that. Well, let's just kill this guy then. Right? Because we have still have four movement points, right? Okay, okay, I'm just, just making sure. I forgot to check for return fire, so it's a good thing I got away with that. Okay. And there's basically nothing that you can do except kind of bunker down. So, and you don't have an arm anymore, right? Yeah, so actually you can't shoot us, which is actually kind of nice. Um, yeah, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Okay, good. You're going to heal yourself. But there's still nothing you can do. Okay, so where is this thing? There it is. Hi. Yeah, I figured you would do that. Infected by virus. Hello, return fire. Okay, so let's make this one go away as well. Identifying target. Gosh, this cannon is good. Ready to fire. Yeah, you really need that hand cannon. Can I see it safely? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Now you... Let's see here. Will points? Yeah, that's fine. You took some damage, but that's fine. Wondering if I should actually heal you back up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let me catch my breath. At least you can still use your weapon, right? Yes. Okay. So, there's still something around, and nothing is shot at the actual objective yet, which is odd, but acceptable, I guess. All right, let's kind of group up, team. So, we've got the sirens taken care of. It's probably something like a mine fragger hiding around or something, but we'll find out shortly. And, yeah. You can come over here and overwatch as well. Moving to position. I suppose. And you, why don't you come hide inside somewhere? <laughs> I don't even know where to put you to keep you safe. You're just there to medkit people now. And be careful. Focus. Focus. You're fine. You're fine. It's over here. Okay. Well, is there a safe way to get over there? 
Not really. I kind of wish you hadn't run up there when you panicked, but it's okay. So the approaches here are only through where? I think you have to come all the way around, to be honest. So that's okay. That lets us set up a real nice greeting for you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Right. Okay, so you stay here. Um, you can actually just stay here. That's fine. Um, you'd better pull way back here then. Making haste. <laughs> oh, the bill is going to be horrendous from this trip. You guys shot out how many of our windows? Um, yes. I really can't tell, like, where where an entry point is going to be. And then you... Should I have you just kind of stand out in the middle somewhere here and look intimidating? No, come up here. And just go ahead and overwatch. I can't tell if they can come in from that side or not. Overwatching. And... Do I not have you set to overwatch? Apparently not. Okay, there we go. Please don't shoot your friends again. That might be nice of you. Okay, you're an Arthron. Okay, I think we have to come all the way around the outside to find you. That's mildly annoying, but we can do that. Sure. Okay, yeah, so they can't go through there. Is there really no other entrance? He'd have to come over here. So I wonder if that's his plan, is to come in that direction? Well, we can just move that way. That's not a problem. We can make sure and set something up for him. Actually, not you. You have to get out of the way. <laughs> I have a lot less guns on my team than when I started, you know? Luckily, I've still got the two heavy hitters. If I was short, say, a sniper and a heavy, uh, I would be in some trouble. But two assaults is unpleasant but not bearable. What's our plan? Um, come over here. Positioning, prioritizing speed. And uh, ready. you can come up here, I suppose. Okay. Then yeah, just kind of watch this general area. And Medbot, come over here. I feel bad calling you that, but it is true. That's kind of your purpose at this point. All right. Watch this area carefully. You do nothing. You go ahead and get a nice pistol overwatch in. Okay, hold on. Stand by. Overwatch. Yeah, I put you in a dumb spot. You can't lean around the corner. Well, too late now. Oh, hi. You can come in the top. Nice jump. Nice. Please don't have any skill points left. Or any movement points left. And you do. Oh, you're going to deploy your shield. <laughs> I wish you would stop doing that, by the way. That's really quite annoying. Alright. Let's fix this guy's day. And then we can all go home and nurse our wounds. Hi. Now who really needs a kill? Does anyone feel like they really need a kill? Like, is anyone feeling bad about themselves? Well, sort of. I guess it doesn't really matter. Ta-da! Wait, there's more? I didn't realize this place was so busy. Okay. You must be back here somewhere. Huh. Also, I wish you would stop panicking and running around. That's really actually quite annoying. Okay. I, I honestly expected this mission to be done. Um, 
Okay. Well. Ah, there we go. One more. Overwatch. Adorable. You're just adorable. Identifying target. Oh, I didn't check for return fire. Oh, it's fine. Receiving that. Um, let's use some will points since we're here. Use quick aim. Just so I don't accidentally get some friendly Target. fire in. Well, that didn't actually help a whole lot. But luckily... Okay. That was... That was not impressive. There's no polite way to say that. Thank God! Okay, that was a little more tense than I expected. Well, we got a level 6 out of it, so there's that at least. Alright, plus 10, we got... We got some of the Warhammers, oh that's cool. We got... I think we already have a Redeemer, don't we? I've just never really used it. Assault Armor. Cool. Yeah, go ahead and replenish these from stores, yep. All right. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> uh, that was exciting. I think that what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get these guys to rest and then head back over and work our way across the world. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a break. So, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.